Hello, this is The Strategist, here to bring you another commentary battle on Empire Total War. Today, I play as sweet, uh, as the um, uh, Spain, sorry about that, and I have brought in five Cazadors, four line infantry, two guards de infantry, three generals bodyguards, three light dragoons, and two guard de corps, guardias de corps. My opponent today, who's a friend of mine, Santiago Wolf, he is also playing as Spain, where we're in a little bit of a Spanish civil war. He has uh, five line infantry, one Walloon guard, I think six Cazadors, and then one, two, three, four light dragoons, one regiment of horse, and one guard de corps, guardias de corps. So um, I'm trying new strategies, and um, one that I've kind of been uh, shown is to make your opponent uh, uh, not suspect what you're going to do. So I'm going to do some pretty bizarre manu maneuvers early on in the beginning to uh, confuse my opponent and to try to um, uh, make him make mistakes. So right now you can see that I'm switching my flanks. Okay, I'm also starting to move cab the cavalry um, around. Moving it up to the flanks and moving this cab over here and this cab over here. And the thing is, um, when so many things is going on, it can confuse your opponent and uh, he would not be fully sure of what I'm doing. Over here I'm moving up my uh, cav to his flank. What I have here is uh, I have actually have three generals bodyguards as meat shield calf. That way, they will take up the first shot from the light dragoons, and then um, my light dragoons can fire into his uh, calf. Also, generals bodyguards are okay in the melee, so they do a fairly good job. I'm also moving up a guard, de a guardias de corps, uh, my heavy calf, to support those light dragoons because he's going to use his entire calf force to try to overwhelm me. Actually, I only have one light dragoon here. Sorry about the lag. Fraps, fraps is a little bit bugging my computer every so often. So, um, he's kind of readjusting to what I've done. But what he hasn't uh, done really well is uh, he sent all of his calves to one flank, and I've spared a couple of my, my light dragoons to move all the way over here. And you will see they do a lot of damage nearing that. I move up some uh, Cazadors just to get some flank shots, and I uh, take my first general's bodyguard to uh, absorb the light dragoon's fire. That way, my guard uh, guard cav don't uh, lose unnecessary casualties from fire. And you can see here the effectiveness that just wasted all the light dragoon shots. Over here, I'm starting to move my cav to the flanks, and I'll take some shots on his Walloon guards. So you can see my cab is about to engage. His men are just reloading because they shot all my uh, cab, and now I get the shot on his edge wounds. Also, I'm charging head on with my heavy cab, which does a lot of damage because heavy cab um, just slaughter light dragoons. Moving it around, and this one, light dragoon, I'm going to swing all the way around and eventually attack this pile up. Also, he sent dispatch one light dragoon unit to shoot my Cazadors kill my Cazadors, which was a pretty effective, I lost that Cazador, but then I move up some line of infantry to support it. Over in the cab battle, my uh, heavy cab are starting to beat uh, his light cab down. His light dragoons, they have poor morale, so uh, they're starting to waver. Also you can see in the background my one unit of light dragoons coming. Also over here, since his guys addressed uh, my light dragoons on this flank, I'm pushing up my men to uh, disrupt and get some flank shots. Here you can see my tired horsemen are starting to move up. Also I'm setting up some line infantry, which just got shot in a flank by a flank by these guys. So uh, my light dragoons are coming in. It. One of my light dragoons has begun to route, but uh, he's going to lose a bunch of his now. 
can see I'm starting to move up my men on his flank, and also I have my um, electric games just wait uh, in the background. So now he's starting to move up his line to address my line. And uh, here you can see I've decisively won the uh, cav battle. And I didn't really notice this at the time, I just barely turned him around. But he got a rear charge, which is pretty much decimated to that one that you gave me. Here in the cav I'm just uh, cleaning up. And also I'm doing hit and run tactics with this one light union. unit. I'm trying to do some uh, micro to overwhelm my opponent also. Here you can see I'm attacking rear charges, but all of the cav is pretty bushed right now, so they're not going to do a whole ton of damage. You can see this is very tired, so their charge is going to be almost useless. Also, on the guard, a uh, cav are uh, just fighting it out. And his uh, regiment of horses taking out my electric goons. Over here, my electric goons, I wasn't watching 100% and he got a shot off. But luckily, I got them away in time. Over here, I've begun to move my um, men up. I try to push this uh, rapidly since he's falling back. And I don't want to uh, him to keep on falling back. And since his back's returned, I have my... Um, heavy infantry, my best units on this flank too, so hopefully I was hoping for them to make a decisive win. I'm also starting to push up this flank. Um, so, I also have my light chicken unit and that's going to attack his light infantry. Okay, I'm also pushing up this flank to try to uh, capitalize on some flank shots. And this cab is going to pretty much decimate this one unit. They uh, get it before it makes stakes. You can see a couple were just putting up stakes, but then they uh, just missed it. Over here, he's pushed his light infantry behind his line, so I'm pushing mine up just to get some uh, shots, some free shots, as uh, mine are in range and his aren't. Over here, he's routed my light dragoons which was pretty bad because I have lost all my uh, calf now and he wreaks a lot of havoc with that calf. Luckily these uh, line infantry shot a bunch though. Or I thought I did. Yeah, there you go. So I killed a few. But this one regiment of course, even though they're tired, does a lot of damage. Over here, since my guys are spread out, I, um, I did a flank and hitting a flank with a guard unit is does a ton of damage, especially against line. Over here he's doing rear charges, a really good and powerful move. I'm starting to make squares. Here you can see this one line infantry is just shredded. Goes to 40 in like 5 seconds. Over here uh, he's I'm taking my line out of squares, and then I'm putting these guys in squares, and I'm pushing up the flank. See his... Uh, Regiment, of course, are just wreaking havoc, making my guys form squares, which uh, makes them get shot worse. And I think I lose this line because of that. He did a really good job with that one unit. You can see that the barrage from my guards, though, are starting to tear apart his uh, men, and that is very decisive. Here, I've pushed up my line, and I'm going to bring back my Cazadors. So once his guys become in range, that way they won't shoot my Cazadors and then uh, the stray bullets hitting my line. Then I'm going to put my Cazadors on his flank and flanks and that uh, flank shots will just shred his men. Over here you can see the regiment of course are very tired and only at 15. Even though they have one chevron, they're just going to uh, rout probably from exhaustion. But they have routed the one line of retreat. Um, over here you can see the lines are starting to engage, and um, they shot my uh, Kazakors, so that way I was able to get my guys up and take the first shot in his line. And um, yeah, I'm starting to move my Kazakors on the flanks. Um, yeah, so these guys are just engaging and uh, firing at each other. And you can see my Kazadors are on the flanks getting very powerful flying shots on these guys. Very uh, damaging morale effect. Over here you can see my guards are starting to tear through 
but these mountain guards are also very powerful. I can point out um, Kazuro's kind of to be a little bit of a meat shield because his wildland guards are so powerful. Here you can see the lines are engaging. And the one has uh, routed. And another one's about to route. So now it's starting to chain route on the flanks. And the game is pretty much done. It's just a um, little bit of a cleanup now. So it's a really good uh, game. Him and I are pretty even. We uh, sometimes win. I sometimes win. He sometimes wins. We have a lot of fun playing each other. So I deployed 1,362. I lost 851, and I killed 1,062. Uh, Santiago, or um, his name in this game was Otto von Bismarck. He deployed 1,410. He lost 1,119, and he killed 811. Good game to Santiago, or Otto von Bismarck.